We are joined now, as always on Friday, by Dwayne Michael Carter Jr., otherwise known as the GOAT. Morning, GOAT. How are you? Doing, man? How are you? I'm good. This man. man is the hardest working man in showbiz. He's got a gig tomorrow night in North Dakota. I huh? that. Wow. Incredible. Every weekend he just goes and plays another gig. You're it. I'm trying to be down. Okay. Russell Westbrook is on the move again from the Clippers to the Nuggets. This will be his sixth NBA team. So, Wayne, how do you explain that a slam dunk first ballot Hall of Famer has been on so many teams? I believe that means valuable. Mm. Yeah, that's why you're on so many teams. And it's in the NBA. Yes, I believe that's a simple, simple explanation right there. He's just valuable. Okay. Yeah. Yet. We've been through a litany of stars <laughs> who somehow didn't click with him or connect with him, starting with Kevin Durant, and then obviously Paul George and James Harden and Bradley Beal and LeBron and AD. And then I, I don't know why the clip, I still don't get why Ty Lue would say no, or somebody said no to Russell Westbrook because now he's going to the Nuggets. I right? don't believe it's a no or nothing like that and nobody not clicking with him. I believe that's just Russ. Russ trying to find, it, trying to get that ring. That's all. Okay. So yeah. All right. Yeah. You, 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 Wayne said the same thing I said, Skip. When, when, when people act like because you're on the move that there's something wrong with you, like, right. you, like you sour. No, when you're on the move, you got value. You, he, like he said, he in the NBA. He's not trying to find a job overseas somewhere. He's not in China okay. trying to find a the job. Big three. No, he ain't in the big three. <laughs> you know, he can still play. <laughs> he can literally still play. OK, but LeBron James is about to make $50 million as he goes on age 40. Yes. And Russ is about to be 36. Yes. And he'll make $3.3 million to play for Denver, uh, right? But, but, but that's by, one, it's probably by choice, because he's made a ton of money. Mm -hmm. He has. Secondly. LeBron is still at the level, Paul, where LeBron was at when he came into the damn league. Okay, you can say, oh, well, he did, he did a little drip. He's at the same level. Dude averaging 28, whatever it is, it, it, that's the same level. Yeah. So you're going to make that. Plus, Westbrook is underpaid, yeah. but he's not searching to be paid. He's trying to get that ring, which is priceless. So It is priceless yeah. for him. Do, yeah. or, do you think he makes Denver a little better? Of course. Do you? Yeah, I believe Russ makes every team get on better. Okay. Yeah. I think he's a starter. I like him. Well, I said it earlier. Starting think... with Denver? Yeah. Because of um, KCP gone. Yeah, yeah. KCP gone. Yes. Unless you want to start Braun. I like Braun coming off the bench. So, I like Russ to be the starter at the point. Murray at the two. Then you got... Porter Jr., mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aaron Gordon, and Jokic. Yep. I like no, that a lot. That's serious right there. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's solid. Yeah. You can still... And the foundation is already set, Skip. Wayne, he's not coming in. When we talk about Westbrook on these other teams, other than OKC, the, 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 the years with, the, you know, with Durant and him, right. all these other teams, he, they was trying to put it together and try to figure it out and trade him over here for, because they needed the money for cap reasons over there. Right. It was, them dudes wasn't going nowhere. It's the first team that he's been on since them OKC years where it's like, oh, they, they solid. They good. Because he's not going to go and change anything. Mm. Meaning, like, he's not going to go and demand, hey, man, I got to shoot the ball 50 times. I'm not going to do that. Nah. Not with Jokic. Yeah, this is his first championship. I really believe outside of OKC, this is his first legitimate. So, like, when Skip, when you say it hasn't worked out, I'm trying to figure out what that even means. Because statistically, he's been brilliant. As far as team-wise, I think he's took them as far as they can probably go. Yeah. He's I mean, one of the most, you can count on Russ, he's going to be there. Maybe except play. for, like we said, the OKC team that lost to Utah. I didn't really have high expectations in Houston. And then Lakers, it's tough to play with LeBron. Like, even D-Wade and, and, and Kevin Love say it's, it's difficult to play with LeBron to make the adjustment because you really got to adjust your game around playing with LeBron. Yeah. So that wasn't a failure to me. It's just that no. his game didn't adjust to LeBron's game. His game didn't adjust to LeBron's game, and he didn't, and the coach, you know, Skip, right. obviously didn't communicate right. the way that it needed to the same way that he did with Ty Lue. When he gets to Ty Lue, Wayne, he looked like a totally different guy. Also, that spotlight, that LA, that Lakers spotlight was bright. Yeah, but it, yeah, it was. And they needed a scapegoat. Yeah. You know, they and always need exactly, a scapegoat. Exactly, and that ain't, he ain't trying he, to be that. Vogel was a scapegoat. 
Then Russ was a scapegoat. And then uh, the coach, they just let go. Darvin Ham. Ham. They always, yeah, so you know, there's you always a scapegoat. saying the quote unquote goat needs a scapegoat? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think that's. No, what it's just you're LA is always a scapegoat in LA. No, this is Hollywood. No, this like, this is always okay, a scapegoat. Got they got to throw somebody under the bus. It ain't going to be Bron. They're going <laughs> to throw him under the bus. So who is it? There we have it. We'd okay. throw you under the bus if you tried to play for us. Ooh, I'm no. The driver, baby. <laughs> driver, baby. <laughs> so here's the truth about Russell Westbrook he's led this league in turnovers four times. Yeah. He has brought up the rear in three-point shooting four times where you can, it, it depends on how you qualify him on attempts, but, but he's been at the very bottom of the league in three-point shooting at least four times. That's a rough combination, man. Like it's Caitlin hard. Clark to me. Okay. Well, does it? Yeah. Okay. Sound well, she, like you're talking about gonna, Caitlin Clark. She's not going to be at the bottom. Sound he, like you're talking about Caitlin Clark. She's not going to shoot under turnovers. 30%. Yeah, turnovers, bottom out of the league, shoot yeah. threes, okay. same thing, right? But we know that mm. she's effective. Okay. Well, same thing. I mean, she she. Who shoots better threes, Caitlin Clark or Russ? Oh, Caitlin Clark. What's the percentages? Clark. Well, it's thirty-two point seven. Russ is uh, barely under thirty percent for his career. No, what about last year? Yeah, thirty-three maybe. Said, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> he shoot better than Caitlin. He, 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 he shot better last year. Last year. <laughs> he shot twenty-seven percent for this three year? last year oh, for the not, Clippers. Not, not too far off. Twenty-seven percent. Okay. Not bad. I don't know. That's that's way <laughs> off, Caitlin. But you never. But but. That's not what they're gonna need him we to never, do. We never, we never. No, they not said he was a three-point shooter. That's not what they're gonna need him to do at all. He's a high-energy scorer, not a, a natural scorer where he's gonna be pulling up at the elbows yeah. and three. But he can go to the cup. He can do all sorts of stuff. He can defend. He's a hustle face. He's an energizer bunny. You don't last in the league and do what he's done to be a first battle Hall of Famer if you got those issues you're talking about. Okay, but he'll be a first battle Hall of Famer because four out of five years from 2017 to 2021. He averaged a triple double. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Period. End of story. Absolutely. Yeah, right? That's part of his okay. career. That's that's him. Him. He did that. Yeah. He did that. That's, that's part of it. Yeah, okay. He did that. Nobody and all did. those years they lost in the first round of the playoffs. But, Every one of them. But he but never had a shot. That. He never had a shot. Never. The teams weren't good enough. Mm -hmm. Dan Marino, Hall of Fame? Yeah. Oh, I was just trying to figure out. But Skip, he think about play it, though. In a Super Bowl. I was trying but to figure out. He actually played in, very in, well in a Super Bowl. And Russ played in the NBA final was up 3-1. I was trying to figure it out. I was just trying to figure oh, it, it out. No, they was up 3-1. No, they was up on, uh... No, it wasn't... It wasn't in the go, conference. Conference final. Oh, yeah, conference. Conference. Golden yeah. State. Yeah. Golden State, yeah. conference yeah. final. My bad. Because then yeah. they got popped by Miami. My bad, my but bad. But they're bad. not going to need him to shoot no threes in Denver. He might think Russ going to fit perfect. Then you better watch your head with him and Aaron Gar him still, and Gordon out there. He's like 35, still dunking on you, man. I'm taking Russ all day. Huh? I don't think you can win with Russ as your point guard. I just don't think. That's what Kevin, I know for a fact, Kevin Durant said, I cannot win with him I as my point guard. Kevin, Kevin Durant play for Denver? But, no, but no, the thing no. is, Skip, you outside of OKC, I'll say it again and again and again, this foundation is already intact. Yeah, he's, exactly. not, he's not going somewhere trying to build a program. How much do you love Michael Malone as a coach? I mean, I, he's uh, not, he's, he's fine. Yeah. He just be talking. Yeah. He just be talking, though, because he's so, talking ne negative about the Lakers. Okay. That's the only reason why. I wonder if he'll be talking to Russ. That's Russ we'll... talk. That's Russ talk. Russ going to love that. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to get along just fine. Really? Perfect. Yeah, I think so. I think they All right. Up next, we got to talk Bronny. We got to get too. Wayne's take yeah, like on Bronny's growth over the last couple of nights.